welcome friends uh, now we will uh, start our uh, syllabus of uh, semester 3 uh, and uh, i will be teaching the paper thermal physics and statistics uh, second so already we have discussed many more things regarding the thermodynamics uh, in the uh, uh, third term Uh, we have discussed uh, uh, what is the thermodynamic system what are thermodynamic uh, variables uh, what are the uh, isothermal processes what is uh, adiabatic process what are reversible irreversible process carnot's theory and many more things that we have discussed uh, uh, in the uh, third term uh, that is uh, in paper number 5 thermodynamics and uh, statistical uh, physics section 1 now we'll uh, start the first chapter of this uh, paper uh, which is uh, thermodynamic uh, potentials now actually going to see uh, what are the thermodynamic potentials let us uh, revise the things that we have discussed uh, in the uh, 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 paper thermodynamics and statistical uh, mechanics uh, in our earlier semester so we know that uh, thermodynamic uh, system is uh, defined by uh, four important thermodynamic variables that means we need uh, the pressure temperature volume and entropy so these are the important uh, thermodynamic uh, variables used to define the thermodynamic uh, uh, state of the thermodynamic system now in order to represent complete state of the thermodynamic uh, uh, system or thermodynamic state uh, these four variables are not uh, sufficient uh, we have to study some functions uh, which are functions of these thermodynamic variables and the functions uh, or thermodynamic functions which are uh, functions of thermodynamic variables uh, and uh, first and second law of thermodynamics these functions are called as the thermodynamic potentials that means thermodynamic potentials they are uh, nothing but they are thermodynamic functions and all these functions depends upon the pressure temperature volume and entropy and in addition to that we have to use the uh, first and second law of thermodynamics now these thermodynamic potentials or thermodynamic functions Uh, describe completely the state of the thermodynamic system hence uh, it is need to study the thermodynamic potentials and these thermodynamic potentials are very important uh, to derive the maxwell's thermodynamic uh, relations and using maxwell's thermodynamic relations many more uh, uh, effects in thermodynamics uh, can be studied easily so let us consider the first uh, uh, thermodynamic potential which is uh, internal energy e we know that the internal energy uh, consist of the two parts uh, that is the kinetic uh, energy uh, because of the motion of the molecules uh, and uh, potential energy uh, if there exists the intermolecular force of attraction between the molecules in case of uh, ideal gas uh, the internal energy is nothing but only kinetic energy because uh, there are uh, no intermolecular forces of attraction between the molecules but if you consider a real a gas uh, whose state can be defined or given by the one rowle equation in that case uh, there exist uh, uh, intermolecular force of attraction and there we have to take into account the uh, internal energy now uh, if you uh, once you understood the concept of the internal energy and if you assume that a small amount of uh, heat energy suppose dq is supplied to the thermodynamic system then obviously there occurs the uh, change in internal energy of the thermodynamic system and the change in internal energy uh, is given by uh, the first law of thermodynamics which is the law of conservation of energy that means if dq amount of heat is given to the thermodynamic system uh, partly d amount of energy is used to change the uh, internal energy and remaining part is used to perform the external work we know that external work performed is given by p uh, into the small change in volume pd so we can write uh, dq is equal to du plus uh, pdv or you can write du is equal to dq minus pd so this is the change in uh, internal energy 
which is uh, given as uh, du is equal to dq minus pd but also we have studied the concept of the entropy here uh, we have uh, seen that uh, this uh, change in uh, uh, energy heat energy supplied to the system is also equal to a t into the change in entropy that is according to the second law of thermodynamics so if you put the value of dq is equal to tds you will get du is equal to tds minus pdv so this is the uh, first thermodynamic potential which is the internal energy which is represented in terms of the change in internal energy as du is equal to tds minus pdv this equation clearly indicates that the internal energy is function of two thermodynamic uh, variables entropy and uh, volume so u is a function of uh, entropy and volume now here if you assume that suppose the process is adiabatic process we know that the adiabatic process is a thermodynamic process uh, during which the total heat energy of the system remains constant neither heat is uh, given to the system or neither uh, heat is uh, taken away from the system so total heat energy of the system remains constant it is called as the uh, adiabatic process so for adiabatic process dq is equal to 0 if you put dq is equal to 0 then you will get du is equal to minus pdv this uh, du is equal to minus pdv clearly indicates that the change in internal energy is nothing but the work done this is negative so the work done on the thermodynamic system so you can say that uh, during if there is a total heat energy of the system is constant then internal energy is nothing but the work done uh, on the uh, system and one thing is to be remembered that this change in internal energy internal energy only depends upon the initial and uh, final uh, state of the uh, thermodynamic system uh, it doesn't depends upon the path uh, followed by the thermodynamic system it only depends upon the initial and final uh, state of the uh, thermodynamic uh, final and uh, initial and final thermodynamic state and therefore uh, you can say that this du is nothing but it is a uh, perfect uh, differential or you can call it as exact differential so that we have to discuss uh, in the uh, maxwell's uh, thermodynamic relation so this is about the first thermodynamic potential which is the change in internal energy which is function of entropy and volume now you can uh, uh, the second thermodynamic potential or thermodynamic function is nothing but the enthalpy h and the enthalpy of the thermodynamic uh, system uh, is also called as the uh, internal uh, energy which is the sum of internal energy and product of pressure and volume this function is called as the enthalpy and the name enthalpy is given by the scientist uh, Kamerling, uh, Kamerling Owens who discovered the uh, superconductivity phenomena. So the enthalpy thermodynamic function is equal to U plus PdV. So it is function of uh, internal energy, uh, pressure uh, and volume. So here H also represents the total heat content of the system. This total heat content of the system is given uh, as uh, is given by thermodynamic function you know, called as the enthalpy. Now, differentiate above uh, equation, uh, you will get dH is equal to the du plus uh, pdv plus uh, vdp after depreciation you will get. But we know that uh, du is equal to dq minus uh, pdv that just we have uh, seen uh, in the uh, uh, internal energy concept. So, du is equal to dq minus pdv, put the value of du here, you will get dH is equal to dq minus pdv plus VDP uh, plus PDV. So here uh, this uh, minus PDV and plus DV, PDV will get cancelled and you will get a DH is equal to DQ plus VDP. Now again uh, from uh, second law of uh, thermodynamics we know that DQ is equal to TDS. Uh, so you can write DH is equal to TDS plus VDP. So I have uh, just I have told you that this thermodynamic functions or thermodynamic potentials they are functions of pressure, volume, temperature and entropy. In addition uh, to that, we have to use the first and second law of thermodynamics. That's it, nothing than that. So dH is equal to TDS plus VDP. So here we observe that the enthalpy is function of entropy and pressure. So uh, internal energy uh, was function of uh, entropy and volume. Here 
enthalpy is function of entropy and pressure. Uh, enthalpy is function of entropy and pressure. Now, in this case, if you take dP is equal to 0, means if the pressure is constant, if you assume that if the pressure of the thermodynamic system is constant, then what you get, you will get dH is equal to T dS is equal to dQ. Means if the pressure is constant or at constant pressure, the change in enthalpy of the thermodynamic system is nothing but uh, amount of heat energy given to that thermodynamic system. That is how one can interpret uh, the equations. That means uh, this is not a simple only equation, but it can be interpreted like this. If the pressure of the thermodynamic uh, system is constant, then we can say that the change in enthalpy is nothing but the amount of heat energy uh, given to the thermodynamic uh, system. So that is how one can uh, study the second uh, thermodynamic function, uh, which is uh, uh, enthalpy. Uh, which gives the total heat content of the thermodynamic system. Now, third thermodynamic function is Helmholtz function or it is also called as Helmholtz free energy and it is represented by a letter F. And this Helmholtz function or Helmholtz free energy F is defined as F is equal to U minus Ts. So, this is the uh, mathematical form of the Helmholtz uh, uh, free energy. And if you differentiate this equation again, you will get df is equal to du minus TDS minus SDP. But we know that again, uh, this uh, du is equal to TDS minus PDV. Uh, and using this value here, you will get uh, df is equal to TDS minus PDV minus TDS minus SDT. So this uh, plus TDS and minus TDS will get cancelled. And you will get df is equal to minus uh, pdv minus s dt means here helmholtz function or helmholtz free energy it is a function of thermodynamic variables volume and temperature so i can write f is function of uh, volume and uh, temperature here also we can uh, interpret this equation as suppose we have uh, dt is equal to zero means the temperature is constant means uh, there is uh, reversible isothermal change means the uh, total uh, temperature of the thermodynamic system remains constant means if dt is equal to zero that is for reversible isothermal change what we will get change in free energy Helmholtz free energy is equal to minus pdv is equal to minus dw so this means that uh, the Helmholtz free energy will be used to perform the external work and this function f is available at the constant temperature. Means you can say that this Helmholtz free energy is used to perform the external work. So that means external work done by the thermodynamic system. So you can write uh, this as the dF is equal to minus uh, dW, but the temperature should remain constant. Means Helmholtz free energy is uh, nothing but it is the amount of work done uh, by thermodynamic system when the temperature of the system is constant. So one can define the Helmholtz free energy in, uh, in this way. Again, from this equation uh, of the Helmholtz free energy, you can write this U is equal to F plus uh, Ts. That means internal energy uh, U is equal to Helmholtz uh, energy plus T into S. Uh, but it is uh, observed that uh, this uh, Ts is nothing but uh, latent uh, heat energy. So we know that uh, latent uh, heat energy is defined as it is the amount of heat uh, absorbed or released during the phase change of the system. And means thermodynamic system goes from liquid state to gaseous state or uh, gaseous state to liquid state or solid state to liquid state or vice versa. Whatever amount of energy is absorbed or released, that is called as the uh, latent heat which is given by Ts. So we can write this uh, internal energy is equal to sum of Helmholtz free energy and latent heat energy. So this is also a very important equation. So while studying this thermodynamic potential, you will observe that uh, these relations are connected by some thermodynamic equations. Likewise, here we have seen that internal energy is equal to Helmholtz uh, free energy uh, plus latent uh, uh, heat energy. So this is very important equation. And last thermodynamic potential uh, is Gibbs function. Uh, which is given by the scientist Gibbs. Uh, it is also called as Gibbs free energy. 
uh, which is represented by a uh, letter g and the gives a uh, function g is defined as h minus ts means uh, enthalpy minus uh, temperature into entropy so if you use the value of uh, h here because we know that h enthalpy is given as u plus pv so if you use here you will get uh, g is equal to u plus pv minus uh, ts but again we know that uh, helmholtz free energy is given as or helmholtz function is given as u minus ts so here uh, 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 u minus ts can be replaced by this helmholtz uh, function yep so you can write g is equal to u plus pv again differentiate this uh, you will get uh, again differentiate this equation original equation for g which is given as g is equal to h minus ts so you will get d uh, g is equal to this dh minus tds minus s dt but again we know that uh, the dh change in enthalpy is given as uh, tds plus udp so use uh, here uh, d, uh, uh, instead of d, uh, dh use uh, this tds plus udp and minus tds minus s dt so this uh, uh, plus ts and minus uh, tds and minus tds will get cancelled and you will get d is equal to vdp minus s dt so here you will observe that the gibbs function is a function of pressure and temperature that means we have seen that internal energy enthalpy helmholtz function or gibbs uh, function all these thermodynamic potentials or thermodynamic functions are functions of thermodynamic variables any two variables pressure, uh, uh, out of four variables pressure temperature volume and entropy and again uh, from this equation g is equal to h minus ts you can write uh, h is equal to g plus ts so this also uh, this also gives you very important equation as enthalpy is equal to g is nothing but uh, gibbs free energy and just you have seen that ts is nothing but the latent uh, uh, heat energy so in this way we can uh, see that uh, the thermodynamic potentials or thermodynamic variables uh, they are represented in terms of uh, original thermodynamic variables pressure volume uh, temperature and uh, entropy from these thermodynamic uh, potentials we are going to uh, derive the maxwell's uh, thermodynamic relations which are very important and the derivation of the maxwell's thermodynamic relations we will uh, discuss in uh, next lecture thank you for watching the lecture